Hey, this is Jason from Elusive Disc. Welcome to another video in our Analog Basics series. One of the most commonly asked questions we get are about record weights and record clamps. Uh, customers want to know, is it something that I need? Well, what are the differences between them? How do I use them? So today we're going to look at the differences between these two things, kind of talk about what they are, what kind of benefits they bring to your table, and finally, which ones that we recommend very highly that you pick up. All right, so we have the record weight and the record clamp. What are some benefits from these? What do they do? So a record weight kind of is what it sounds. It's a weight. So it goes on your record kind of when you have it on the platter and it basically adds mass to the record. So if we look at this here, this is a concept weight. We're going to put it on this concept table. You have the album on there already. So now you have the album weight and then you have this record weight. So it just kind of adds some mass to your platter and what you're doing. So similarly, a record clamp does also add that. However, it will actually add uh, some pressure as well. So this is a clamp. So like it says, it clamps down. So that's kind of the vernacular and what the differences are literally there, but they both will add mass to your record. So why is that important? Well, if you have an album and it spins up and there's any point where the album is not touching the platter as it spins, it's losing some of that contact. So you want to add that record weight or the clamp on there and then it will make it uh, contact that platter more and it's going to be more consistency. So with vinyl you want to have speed consistency. You don't want to have it running at 35 RPMs or 47 RPMs. It's going to be noticeably different with the sound. It's not going to sound right. So it's very important to have that speed consistency and that's one thing that record clamps and weights will do. Another thing they do is vibration control. So <clears throat> turntables are very susceptible to vibration. You can't always audibly hear it, but if it's in your system and getting amplified, it will negatively impact how it sounds. So record clamps and weights will do a good job at that. And this is the VPI one here, and it's very, it's very stout, very heavy, and it will help to dampen any sorts of those vibrations you get. Clamps do the same thing. Uh, they just typically aren't as heavy as, as weights are, but they also do a really good job of, of dampening those vibrations. Um, one more thing to consider too is the aesthetics of having these. So it just adds something, it just adds something to the system. And you have it on here, you spin it up, it just looks more complete with this little piece of metal, metal sticking up there. Um, it just looks, it looks a lot nicer and just and aesthetic. It's very pleasing to have that on there. Um, <clears throat> now we're going to get into, again, a little bit later some of the specifics, but we have kind of two spindles here. We have a traditional spindle, which isn't threaded, which is the majority of tables. And then this VPI table here has a threaded spindle. So these won't all work on each other. Uh, the record weights will actually work on either. So that's good. You don't have to specifically have one for your branded table, but the VPI clamp, which actually locks down to the threads in that will only work on those. And then the other ones actually will only work on a non-threaded spindle. So when you do go to buy one, you want to make sure that you know what you have, what you're looking for and you don't pick the wrong one and we certainly can help you out with that when it comes time. All right, so first up we have the Clear Audio Quadro record weight. Now this is 225.99. Now this this sucker is very heavy. It is metal, it has a brushed uh, finish to it which is really nice, it has a Clear Audio logo and it is it is the, it's the weight, not the clamp. We're going to put it on there. It goes with the aesthetic finish of the Clear Audio tables really well. Um, it look, definitely looks very nice on there and you're really paying for a, a pretty heavy weight considering its size uh, and it performs very nicely with what you're trying to accomplish with the, on the weight side. Okay, secondly we have the VPI stainless steel record weight. Again, uh, this is metal also. It is very heavy as well and it has these nice little belts and if you're familiar with VPI, a lot of stuff they have like this has these kind of belts in there just kind of break up the metal finish so now we're going to stick this on the table over here and again it, it is very heavy it matches really well any of the finishes on their tables we're going to spin this up here and i do like kind of the, personally i like kind of the higher clamps you can see probably from this video how warped this record is which we're going to address later but the record weight will give you some benefit even on a warped record like this um, so you don't have to have the other clamp, but I think once you watch the demonstration, you might want that one instead. But this is a great one. It's $194.99 if you're looking for a weight for either table. It works on either one. This is definitely a very good choice. 
Okay, and finally on the weight side, we have the Clear Audio Concept Record Weight. And this has a black and silver finish. It has a nice little logo in front. And I really like this. Now I do like the Quadro weight, and I, and I know I said I like taller weights, but this one aesthetically on the Clear Audio, it looks fantastic. And it's not you know, too short, but it looks really nice. And they have the black on black plant, they have the silver on black, and they have the black on silver. Goes with all those. It even looks good on their, on their wood finishes as well. And it's a heavy little weight given it's not fully metal like the other one is. So it is a little on the less expensive side, it's $134.99 and goes really well with, with their tables. And you can use it on different Clear Audio tables also, it doesn't have to be the concept, but that's its namesake and that's what it was designed for. Definitely like this weight a lot. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our actual clamps. And the first one we have is the Clear Audio Twister clamp. So this has a, a nice metal base to it and it has a, a stainless steel top here and has a logo as well. So we're gonna put this on, and again, this works on non-threaded spindles. So you put it on, and then I typically will just kind of hold it in place and tighten it down. And we're gonna spin it up here and see what happens. And I do, again, I like the height on this one. It gives you that security being able to tighten it down. It definitely will couple that, couple that to the platter really well. And I really like this as far as the um, best kind of twister clamp for clear audio tables. This one's great. And when you need to take it off, you have to loosen it, of course, which is, which is nice. But well, that is the twister clamp. It is $174.99. It's a really good choice if you're looking for something that you can clamp down to the spindle. So next is the Project Clamp It. This is an aluminum record clamp. And again, it tightens down. It has a nice soft uh, leather bottom and top there. And this is for non-threaded spindles. We're gonna put this on here and it clamps down real well there. Spin it up. And this is a little bit lower profile. Uh, it still looks good and you can use it on any non-threaded spindle and this actually is the clamp that I use in my office every day listening to records. I really like how it performs and I just I like clamping things down so this is my personal preference but it does a, it does a really nice job. Uh, this is only $99 so it's a pretty reasonably priced clamp so this is a pretty good choice and if you're unsure if you want to clamp or wait um, you always could try this one out and see what you think about it. Okay, and finally, I talked about we're gonna have a little demonstration. So this is gonna be the VPI. This is their one-piece Delrin clamp here, and it screws down. Uh, you can actually get this as well in a stainless steel head, which uses a little bit more weight. But first, what we're gonna do here is we're going to turn the platter on. I got a, a pretty warped record here, and you guys can just see um, kind of between the platter and the record how warped it is. So I'm gonna demonstrate how this can actually get rid of that issue. So I'm gonna turn it off here. I'm going to just plop this album over here. All right, and this will come with a little rubber washer. So it's pretty simple. You're just gonna put that on first. You're gonna take that same album here, and you're gonna put it on. Now you definitely don't wanna play it without putting a clamp on, because it's not gonna work. So we're gonna put that on, and we're gonna twist this down. This takes a little bit of time to do this, just given how it works. Nice and snug. Okay, I'm gonna spin this up. And you can see that between the platter and the record there, it is pretty darn flat. So this clamp and its stainless steel brother do a really good job of getting warps out. Um, so this one here specifically is, is 125. Now, truth be told, this does come with most uh, VPI tables that do have some sort of clamp like this. And some of the ones only have a weight. So if you want to add something like this, you can certainly buy it separately. Um, and then the stainless steel one is a little bit Nicer than this, like I said, add some extra weight. I prefer that one, but they both do an, a really good job of getting the warps out. So uh, definitely would take a look at that one when you're trying to decide what to do. All right, well, thanks for sticking with us this long. I appreciate that very much. And, and picking one of these out, I don't think there's really a wrong choice you can make as long as you're not getting one with the, for the wrong spindle in mind. So you definitely just want to take care of that when you're looking. But if you have any questions, definitely let us know. We're gonna have links to all these in our description and you can click on them. Uh, you can get a hold of us, leave a comment, send us an email, give us a call if you wanna discuss any of these options. Uh, again, thanks for watching the video and, and don't be afraid to uh, like our video, subscribe if you want more content like this and we'll look forward to seeing you the next time.